Hey guys, first of all, I just want to issue a formal apology for the mess that has been this channel for the past couple of months. I have just started my first year at law school and it's been really overwhelming trying to juggle everything, but that is also why I'm looking to hire new writers and editors for the channel. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description down below to join the team. All right, let's get into the video. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel where we spill tea left, right, and everywhere in between. Due to recent drama in the TikTok or beauty world, we decided that it was time to dive into who Michaela Nogira is and detail all of the many controversies that she's been involved in. Let's spill the tea on Michaela Nogira. Raised in East Freetown, Massachusetts, Michaela is a TikToker who's mainly known for her makeup tutorials and reviews, amassing a follower of over 14 million followers on TikTok. Her love for makeup started when she was just 10 years old after she bought some Avon makeup products from her mother's friend. While Michaela does have a Bachelor of Arts in Communications from Bryant University, she dropped out of graduate school in 2020, but this opened up more time for her to do makeup videos full time. Before TikTok, Michaela was actually pretty popular on Tumblr with her makeup content, and she did have a YouTube channel where she posted similar content as well as vlogs, but this channel was later removed. Not unlike many, the pandemic really contributed to her rise on TikTok and dedication to creating content there. Despite the fame that Michaela has achieved on TikTok, she did not start on the platform with that intention for herself. She actually started an account for her mother with the suggestion that she use the platform to teach her students about their family farm. Michaela uploaded a catfish challenge which went viral and gained her over 2 million followers in just 8 months. Gaining attention quickly, Michaela even won an award for her work earning the American Influencer Award for Emerging Makeup Artist of the Year in December 2020. Michaela has been open about her struggles with body image and has opened up about her eating disorders and bullying that she's experienced in the past. She has posted vulnerable TikToks explaining that moments that should be happy for her, like shopping for her wedding dress, are nothing but a major source of anxiety for her. <sighs> Today I'm going to be picking up my wedding dress. These are not happy days. <laughs> There's absolutely a reason why I have put this off. I'm not looking forward to this day. Being in the spotlight, despite having its obvious advantages, always comes with downfalls as well as people begin really seeing you on the internet will find and remember everything. So let's talk about some of her controversies. Michaela was named the realest influencer on TikTok by Glamour magazine and it's likely because Michaela offers a more down-to-earth, relatable style and even has a charming accent that really makes her stand out from most other beauty influencers. Another thing that makes Michaela a little bit different is that her love of makeup comes from a place of insecurity according to an interview that she did with Allure. She said, people always ask me, where did you get your start with makeup? And it's like, I started wearing makeup because I hated my Myself. And even though she was doing really well in the beauty influence industry, Michaela shared that her self-hatred had become worse than ever. This was around the time that the first controversies Michaela would experience started. A clip resurfaced of Michaela basically complaining about her influencer job, which made many people call her out for being out of touch and honestly a little bit spoiled. We just finished work and it's 519. Try being an influencer for a day. Try it. Apparently, according to Michaela, she made this video outlining her schedule as an influencer in response to a comment that basically said influencers should try working a 9 to 5. She was attempting to showcase that her day can start at 5 a.m. and go as late as 6 p.m. or, of course, even later sometimes. Of course, the internet being the internet, it didn't take long for people to point out some inconsistencies with Michaela's opinion on this. Some deep divers uncovered some prior comments from Michaela on an old Jaclyn Hill post saying, must be nice to be rich and all you do is film videos for YouTube. Not too long after this, Michaela announced that she would be taking a break from social media, but it has nothing Nothing to do with the controversy. I feel like I've lost myself. I feel like I'm falling down a hole deeper and deeper. And um, what I want to share with you today is that I'm going to be stepping away um, from content creation for a while. I, I don't know how long. I will be back. 
I will absolutely be back. Michaela did, in fact, address the comments that she left on Jacqueline's post, saying that she apologized personally months ago and that she was just really jealous. And she added, jealousy ruined my life for a long time. Uh, there's a reason I talk about jealousy on my page and how fucking evil it is. Because I grew up a very jealous person and I would leave fucking comments like that on Jacqueline or, or whoever I idolized because I was extremely fucking jealous. Michaela didn't stay out of controversy though as a server came forward and said that she was not only rude but also her Boston accent is fake. What happened next was a little bit confusing because Michaela initially apologized saying that social anxiety was to blame for her video but then she later said in a different video that the server was a liar and that she quote twisted and dramatized everything. As for the fake accent accusation, it seems that a few people have noticed this and of course where we have certainty on the legitimacy of influencer or YouTuber information, Reddit is there with the receipts. Hey guys, this is Michaela. This is Vlog7, and I just want to say, hey guys, it's Michaela. Um, I guess this is a vlog, I don't really know, but um, today's my anniversary. Deep voice, a uh, deeper voice. And there's more. Oh, hi. Do you have a face full of acne and you just can't seem to figure out how to cover it up? I've been able to trick people into thinking I have no acne at all with these three products. Apply the serum, apply the primer. Now, this might just be the most important part. Quite a contrast to the Michaela we hear these days, right? These are nose contour pens. It kind of looks like a brow pencil, but that's the creaminess of a cream contour. I love how it curves with the curvature of the nose. I'm gonna stat, I like to stat at the uh, the brow, really. Many, many people on the spotlight tend to lean into what their brands might be. Take Scar Girl, for example. So it's not unheard of that there are often inconsistencies with some personalities. I mean, Trisha, need I say more? But it seems that after all of these controversies, the internet was keeping a close eye on Michaela, specifically Rich Lux, who has made many, many videos on her. And more recently, Rich Lux uploaded a video that showcases an alleged ex-friend of Michaela's fully exposing her. What you've done is become a sellout. You were the bully. You are the liar. Again, if you didn't hold anything against me, um, well, you probably do now, and you didn't change my opinion, so thanks. Mike. This girl apparently lives super close to Michaela in real life and even knows her family. Family, but it kicked off when the girl commented on one of Michaela's TikToks saying to basically tone it down with the makeup and leave 2016 when going into 2023, to which Michaela responded with this. Well, nothing against you, but I hope by the end of this video I can convince you otherwise. Now, if you look at the very beginning, Michaela says, respectfully, my friend. <sighs> respectfully, my friend. I disagree. Acknowledging that they're friends. This kind of set the girl off and she came back alleging that there's a lot the public doesn't know about the true Michaela. You have a history of transphobia, racism, bigotry. There are stories that haven't been told that occurred behind closed doors that you know what I'm talking about. So you have some audacity to be going on this rant about supposed authenticity. She also mentions the fake accent and Lashgate, which we'll get into in just a second. But Michaela commented on Rich Lux's post saying that she literally has no idea who this person is. Rich Lux has an opinion that this could possibly be a diversion away from Lashgate, so maybe people will talk about this situation instead, but we aren't. So let's talk about the recent events with Lashgate. You, this literally just changed my life. This looks like false li This is how? What? <laughs> it's this L'Oreal telescopic lift. Look at the wand. You guys know what happened. This is one coat. Okay, I'm gonna add a second. Look at the length. Do you see that? I am speechless, and I'm not sure anyone's gonna ever be able to compete with this mascara. <laughs> now, the internet blew up with this, and even Tana Mojo weighed in. L'Oreal wasn't paying me a dime. I tracked down the telescopic lift mascara, and I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys today. Honestly, a good mascara. It's always about the second coat, so I'm gonna let this fully dry, and I'm gonna come back to you with the second coat on. Game changer. Everyone was heavily accusing Michaela of having used fake lashes to promote the mascara and what's more, they said that she didn't make it clear that she was in a paid promotion with them. And this is not the first time that Michaela has been accused of being disingenuous during a makeup product review, as in the past she has used filters while wearing makeup and promoting it. This is somewhat of an immoral thing to do while reviewing makeup products, especially if you are being paid by a brand. This controversy took off so much that it raised none other than Jeffree Star Ashes back into the makeup review world. So allegedly, the telescopic lift L'Oreal mascara 
is the best mascara in the world and no brand may ever be able to compete with it. Miss Michaela reviewed it, the internet blew the fuck up, and a lot of people think that she's wearing a false lash at the end of her eye. It looks peculiar. It looks bizarre. Jeffrey was quick to jump on and review this product on TikTok, saying that it's fine, but probably not like the best in the whole world and unmatched. But anyway, you would think that Michaela would say something, but she said nothing. She was quiet on TikTok for a few days and then just began posting again like nothing happened. Worldwide mascara gate scandal. 50.2 million views and the bitch came back no apology didn't address it that's gold i will never be apologizing or addressing anything again the initial tiktok of michaela's which some are calling lash lighting which is honestly hilarious has had over 50 million views so whether this was an intentional move or not it's low-key genius because i'm sure sales on this mascara have soared really just to see if michaela is lying or not michaela is back to business as usual and attended the super bowl to see rihanna with bretman rock and others jeffree star has even invited her to to visit him on the Star Yak Ranch for a possible collab. Michaela is in Wyoming. I'm sure she's had that brand trip planned for a long time. I reached out, I invited her to the ranch. I said, let's do a, let's do something together. Let's try the L'Oreal mascara on camera or will the contract not allow it? Um, She's seen it and she has not responded yet. Who knows if she will ever address this, but I can venture a guess that this will not be the last drama that we see Michaela in. And for now, guys, that is all for our hot tea deep dive. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the hot tea channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And for now, let's relax and enjoy some eye bleach together.